He is still hurt from past relationships and is scared to go deep. He wants a committed relationship but has issues opening up. I'm 100% about my past, present, and future. How do I get him to open up, to open without manipulation or threatening to leave? Well, it depends on how bad his his past hurt is, right? One of the problems with your question and what you're trying to do here is that you're like, okay, this guy's hurt, right? He's got problems. He's scared. He's got commitment. He wants a committed relationships, but has, you know, but he has these issues opening up because he has so many problems from his past, right? You're like, okay, how do I fix this guy, right? And so that's the premise that you're coming from. You're coming from this premise of how do I change him and fix him, but without doing one manipulation or threatening to leave, which honestly, I don't think that either of those things are... Basically, those things are about manipulation, right? So you're manipulating him or you're threatening to leave him is manipulation, right? If you're threatening to leave him, if he doesn't open up, that's manipulation. What he needs to do is he needs to go through his own stuff, right? He's got issues that he's got to work through. And so he has to be willing and actively trying to get through that stuff so that he can heal and open up so that he's actually available to have a real relationship with you. And so what you need to do, Tori, is you need to figure out whether he's actually doing that or not. Is he actually working on healing himself and getting himself to a place where he's ready to open up or is he not? And if he's not, then that's a big red flag and that should make you rethink what's going on here. And the problem with the premise of your question is that you're asking how to manipulate him without manipulating him, right? How do I get him to do something, right? So it's like, hey, how do I get him to do something, right? And, and when we use the word manipulation, we're kind of using it in a term, in, in a way of saying like, usually the word manipulation is just the premise of influence, right? How do I influence him? So basically you're trying to say like, how do I normally do, but you're trying to kind of sugarcoat it by saying, but it can't be manipulation and it can't be threatening to leave. And so that's my suggestion is that you have open and honest communication with him and talk to him about what's going on with him and see what he wants to do about it and see when he's going to be ready to do that. And if you're in a relationship with him and you're give, giving him all of his needs, you're fulfilling all of his needs by being with him in that way, there's a very good chance that he's not going to do that. That's one of the reasons why a lot of women end up just leaving guys because what they end up finding is that as long as they are giving him everything that he needs, he doesn't have any real motivation to do anything to heal himself or fix himself, which is why it's a bad idea to do the nursing a baby bird to health type of scenario, which it sounds like you're, you are in right now, Tori. So that's, that's what that sounds like.